Good day and welcome back to Elementary 72 Gaming. Once more we are back out with the farming in a bad hair day part 2. Now this time it is part 2 of the bad hair day so you can expect things to be slightly different. Now with what just happened here in our team the main account has just the main account who is doing this mission has just dropped for a few seconds. So you will see me taking a little bit more aggro than I normally would but this is going to be quite fun. There's 11 more ships left in this wave and hopefully I'll be able to take them out effortlessly. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm actually holding a lot of the aggro at the moment. So this is just perfect for this fight. Now the next ship that's getting too close to me is going to be that Moa Guardian. Oh, that is trouble. Let me circle him. Let me do a 21. Now, as you can see, the, this is actually bad hair day. Now, there's another two more waves after this. And once we are through those next two waves, that is going to be the end of this bad hair day. Now, this is still one of the smaller waves. It only has uh, 13 ships to start with or 12 ships to start with. I'm not 100% sure. But what is so good about it is the fact that once we are done with this, we are very close to the heavier waves, which are a lot easier to finish off when you invest the right amount of power. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think you should lock that uh, Pithy Raven if possible, the one that's closing in. yeah okay I, I can take care of these small guys just need some cover for the bigger guys <laughs> so yeah the, so this is the whole idea let me just show you what's in our fleet so the fleet is an oracle for the squad commander a prophecy for helping with the close range attacks and a scout for the warp off point now using this particular format you can actually do the whole fight and recover in the same area now from time to time the scout will actually change to an aguera and the reason for that is quite simple the aguera will allow us to actually run both recovery of our armor if anything should go wrong and it will allow us a place to recover some uh, capacitor wait one moment <laughs> now nah, I'm, I'm just going to explain to somebody else yeah as soon as she joins i'll explain it yeah i'm actually doing a video but the audio from uh, discord isn't coming through so you can speak and don't worry, if it was even being recorded, I, I bet you the YouTubers will enjoy hearing Stoic again on the channel. Yeah. So, someone sponsored up a total of 10 videos of me ratting around. So... I've got to go and do something new basically for acting every day to make sure that the content is slightly different. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not a good time. That's a painful time. So, 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 so what my friend just uh, suggested was why don't we do an Angels and Devils? Now, Angels and Devils are one of the most difficult missions when it comes to the storyline missions. And it can take an, um, a very immense amount of time to complete it. And that's just the way that it is standard for completing that mission. So I'm just going to try and stay under this uh, Raven's guns while I fire at him. 
and then I'll move on to the ferox. So since there's only six, I'm gonna go full lock, and I already know where I'm moving to next when it comes to fire, so I'm fine. <laughs> Now, as you can see, my cap is starting to drop. Things are starting to become a little bit hairy. That's because the wave has started to drop to its end. So I just have to take out the right ships. And with my friend helping me here, uh, basically I'm helping him here with just giving him a little bit of uh, a time uh, cushion. So he's going to attack the bigger ships. I'm going to attack the smaller ships. And when we both group up on the big ships in the end, I can actually hide under their guns if I wanted to. So that's the idea of what we're playing right now. Okay, let's just have a look at how much. Okay, so just five minutes in. I am actually going to cut this a little bit because the final wave is going to be one wave all on its own. Okay, one second. Ooh. Who's famous? I'm not famous. <laughs> uh, YouTubers aren't famous. YouTubers are just um, popular. <laughs> yeah, some YouTubers are really famous. I won't, I won't deny that. Who's Justin Bieber? I've never heard of him before. <laughs> like, seriously, who's that guy? Stoic, any help you? Who's Justin Bieber? Come on, go down. Okay, that's good. So now with the particular format that we are fighting this battle in, we can actually AFK for several minutes at a time. Obviously I'm in a less of a position to AFK, but my friend Immortal is AFKing at the moment to attend to his real life duties. Uh, that's what I'm just going to say for convenience sake. But nonetheless, this is one of the most fun ways to complete these um, simple encounters you, you actually just go around and you do them with a sufficient amount of range actually wait no why am i doing it at such a long range i can get in closer now if i get in closer the whole idea is that i don't take that much of damage it also means that i can warp off with a lot easier of a position to run away from so they're going to do less damage to me overall and as we start to destroy these ships that means that we have a higher and higher edge against the next ship so looking at where I'm heading, I'm heading in closer and closer to this battleship. Now this is what happens when you're facing too many of them. As you can see, I need to run my my rep too often. Even if you were in a Naga, which can do way more damage than what I'm doing, I think you do about 6,000 in the same amount of time that I do 4,000. So the amount of hits you have to deliver is reduced time-wise. And if you are running the right setup on your Naga, you can be running upwards of uh, eight to ten thousand in the same period that I'm shooting so that makes a big difference for the close range combat so if you were running a combat Naga with the brawler fit in this particular fight this would have been the easiest fight you could have ever done so I think I'm on the wrong ship at this point yeah I am but it doesn't really make too much of a difference to me the damage has reduced severely and this isn't going to last much longer because that ship is gonna go down very easy and then the shop will follow it in a few minutes.
mm, almost in the sweet spot. There we go. That one is going to get destroyed way faster right now. It's been double uh, webified. So that second ship is going to take excess damage at the moment. Can't really avoid any type of tracking. One and two. There I go. Now I can switch off my wraps. Now with this being done, that means that this fight is almost over. I am not going to be taking much damage from both of them. I'm inside that close range area where I'll take 1 or 2% every hit. I can actually wait out my next uh, cap battery before I start actually regening any uh, shield. So this is the perfect spot to be in. As I showed you, 1 or 2% every hit. Perfect spot. There we go, one down. Perfect. I'm up to 36% cap, so that was quite the good move moving forward. I'm almost ready to engage my uh, shield booster. I could actually start a little bit ahead of time. Yeah, I should start a little bit ahead of time. I took a little bit more damage than expected. Here we go, come on. So this was just a little bit of fun in the middle of the second part of Bad Hair Day. Now I will bring you back for that final big wave because that is the most fun from this entire fight. It's also the most time consuming part of the fight and I hope that you all do enjoy it because when it comes to that one, it's going to be a lot of uh, strategic withdrawal and strategic uh, in and out when it comes to the fight. Now, as you can see, Narcissus Lake is now moving off further than where she should be. She should actually be stopping. I'm not sure why she hasn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I made a big mistake. Ooh, don't get up to me. Alright, so I will bring you back when I am done with this uh, part of the encounter. Thank you all for watching.